Detailing is one of the most important stages of modeling, but a lot of people mess it up. You add too many details too quickly or too many of them in general and you end up with a disaster. In this video, I'm gonna give you simple tips on how to improve your detailing game. Let's go. So detailing is a stage of modeling where you start adding more intricate elements to your design to make it feel more complete. It comes after the blockout stage and knowing when to start or when to stop each stage is super important. It's all about balance. If you're more hands-on and want a practical example, then we've got a free course to guide you step-by-step -step through creating a 3D model from scratch. The course is called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender and the link is in the video description. So first off, when to start detailing? You shouldn't start detailing earlier than after you finish your blockout stage because the blockout is the backbone of the model. If the backbone is unbalanced or incorrect, everything else on top of it is gonna look wonky. No matter how much you polish it, it's gonna look bad. And here is where folks get really confused. Let me explain. So a lot of people think about 3D modeling in terms of primary, secondary and tertiary detail. Honestly, this terminology messes people more than it helps. Here's why. Primary details are supposed to be the big foundational shapes like the body of a human figure or chassis on a car model. But the term primary details make it sound like you're already getting into details and that's what's confusing. It's really misleading and can throw you off course. I prefer to break it down into something way more intuitive like blockout, mid detail and tertiary detail. So first you have the blockout which is you know laying down your basic shapes this is why i think that you know calling it a blockout is much more clear because it helps you to stay focused on what you're actually doing which is the foundation of the model right so once the blockout is done we transition into mid detail and you can call it also secondary detail if you like to it's the point where you start adding more meat to the bones more nuances that make the model uniquely yours we're talking stuff like facial features on the character or you know door handles on the car etc right this is where you can refine and enhance the block out flesh out and define the design language and finally we go to the tertiary detail this is where the magic happens so you know the tiny screws the decals all, all the intricate stuff the stuff that really makes your model pop but this is also where things can go sideways if you're not too careful too much of a good thing can ruin the model now knowing when to move from one stage of modeling to another comes with experience but there are certain rules to it so only when you have a solid block out you can then transition to mid detail and this is where you add those features that make your model recognizable but aren't tiny stuff like again screws or decals it's like bodybuilding to shred you need to have some mass that muscle shows detail and your overall posture and structure are the backbone so you can't add detail if you don't have the backbone or some mass because you have to put it on something right now mid detail should refine the block out and define the most basic shapes once that's done you can move on to tertiary detail now tertiary detail is super super small it's the wrinkles on the face or tiny bolts on the machine you know the tiny things right it's also very much like sex the key here is not to rush into things unless you know what the fuck you're doing and not to focus just on one area and don't be a noob you need to be all over the place to keep her wet and guessing now on the flip side if you put details everywhere it's gonna be a mess too so the trick here is to apply something we call 70 30 rule which means that 70 percent of the design should be detail free so the eyes have somewhere to rest and the other 30 percent should be detailed to figure out where to place details look for areas that have more going on more contrast more drama so when you're working through the mid detail stage you're gonna be creating already elements of detail and that's where you concentrate the tertiary detail so how do you learn this through observation start gathering references from top artists and don't be lazy and gather them yourself you will learn a great deal throughout the process of reference gathering i have a video on how to work from references so go ahead and watch it if you like now you could also hit games like you know star citizen mass effect etc which have a very solid design the trick here is to immerse yourself in proper 
proper design language in order to get better. To make it more easy to visualize, think of details as an archipelago, okay? Multiple islands connected by water, right? So islands are detailed with palms and rocks and so on, and the ocean is the negative space, so the 70%. When you look from above, you won't really notice the water, so the 70% of the negative space, since it's mostly detail-free, right? Your eyes will jump from island to island. This is exactly how you want to lead the eye through your model. And that's pretty much it, you know, that sums up the strategy of how to detail your models. Now, we've also got another course, which is called Hard Surface Accelerator, which isn't out yet. We haven't released it yet, but there is a secret discount link in the description, which will give you 40% off. It's probably one of the best courses for Blender beginners on the market right now. It's been designed based on a feedback from over 200,000 students that will allow you to go from zero to being able to model stuff like this in less than two weeks. I talk a lot about designing that course and detailing during the practical part, so I'd highly recommend you snatch it if you're serious about learning. The link is in your video description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.